everyone welcome to Hilal studio today I'm going to show you a very simple watercolor painting I'm going to paint from this picture let's practice some color mixing then we go for a final painting starting with a very light color Try this light color first. Showing you how this color mixing works. So these two color mixing, getting this color in here. Try this color now. For software edge, clean your brush with fresh water. Dry your brush like this and then move your brush around the area. Now I am doing this highlight. Clean up your brush and dry it like this. And lift up the paint where you want highlight. Here is the lightest light and here is the maximum dark. So now pick this color, this one and then this one. Now paint most like this color in here. You could lift off for lighter tone. Now paint the darker area. If you think it's too red, put some yellow local on top. And do blending like this. So we are getting now these two color. Now paint the dark area. Now go for this dark color, put in here. See I have more pigment and less water. Before start uh, the green paint, I clean up my area. I have only two green in here, sap green and viridian. Take the yellow first, remember light is light color, then mix with sap green. Now 
mix and match with this color. Now go for darker one. Mix with blue for different green color. When you have a dark green, then put more blue mixing with that area. I'm trying this area. I'm trying this one. Now drawing time. I always try drawing like this. Pretend how big is in here. Then here. So I think this big in here. Don't start draw with very hard lines. Draw overall bigger shapes now. Seems like very high in here. Start with the lightest light color, very little water, I am preparing three different shades in here, so this one is dark as dark for now, then this one is medium one. This one, the lighter one.
You have to soften the edge before it get very dry. No worries about this area like this. This is a watercolor. This area is really hard now, but no worries, we still can manage it. Now paint on the darkest area. There is a shadow.
No, do this one. This one is more red. This area have different red. Also have a little bit of highlights. Not very bright one, but like this. paint the dark area
now paint all the green area.
Now I'm going to paint shadow areas. Wet the paper shadow areas. There are some color reflections from Tomato's body. 